Hey, good morning all. We're gonna do a bison deadhead today. This thing is uh, what a lot of people think, oh, it's almost all done, it's almost all taken care of. It's not even close. This part had been chewed on by something, but the bugs are in there, the bugs are still alive. It's still very, very fragrant. I'm gonna pull it around and show you this super creepy backside where the hair is gone, but the, the skin is all wrinkly and gnarly. Um, I'm gonna find something big enough to put this in to soak three or four days. Same old story with the deadhead. I am gonna cut these horn cores. I do that so I can wash inside and then I'll keep those tips. I'll wash those and if they choose to screw them back on, great. You don't really need them, but just in case. But look at this wrinkly old backside head. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now you should expect a horrific stink. I mean horrible in a few days. Once that decayed flesh starts to hydrate, you're gonna get the smell back. Yes, it smells now, but it's nothing like what it will. For all those comments out there that, hey, can't you just leave it out there and let the bugs do it? Here you go. I don't know how long it's been out, but the bugs can't do it. They can't get through all the hives. They can't get through all that stuff. There's so much living bugs still in this and it's really really dry that you're going to be washing bugs out of places you never thought even existed in a skull so i'm going to give this i'm going to say at least five days just because i got so many other projects i'm working on and the longer i wait the better it's going to be so i'll see you in five days hey thanks for watching y'all uh you could see i put a big slug of super clean in that barrel about two days in, I could smell everything through the barrel. And I'm like, man, I have to change this water. When I did, I noticed that the hide was really, really flexible. Like I've never really experienced on a deadhead before. My guess is that the super clean did some sort of crazy, whatever it does, degreasing thing and softened all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you this skinning piece or hide removal in real time. No sense for me to speed it up. You can just kind of see what I was dealing with. Yes, it stinks very, very much. And no, I'm not the person that can just deal with a bunch of stink because I'm always around it. I have a bionic nose and I hate stink. Stink is temporary, so be mentally strong and just deal with the project. As I skin around, I get to points that are really, really tight that I'm better off to just pull and stretch. What I don't want is a bunch of splatter. I don't want this stuff up in my face or my mouth. I'm very conscious of that these days. I try to be delicate, but those of you that know me and have watched me on this channel, you have learned that delicate is not my strong suit. Now I know this seems super slow, but this is the actual time that it takes to do one. So you can see why I always speed it up. However, I've had so many requests. Can we just watch it in real time? Can we just watch you do it as you do it? So I figured I'd slow this one down, see if I can retain you, if you still wanna watch through all the cuts. And if so, I will continue this piece for you. How about to kill a little downtime, i give you a joke. What is the difference between a hippo and a zippo? A hippo weighs like a ton and a zippo is a little lighter. Oh, that's a rich dad joke. Feel free to share that anytime, anywhere. Just make sure they're old enough to know what a zippo is. Oh, look at that. We have enough time for one more joke. And staying with the theme of the channel, I saw a 2000 year old oil stain. It was from ancient Greece. Get it? Ancient Greece. Okay, all right, here we go. Last one, I swear. What did the buffalo say when his boy went off to school? Bye, son. Once I've got everything removed off this, I hit it with a hose and just wash everything off real good. And then I put it back in the barrel 
I was working on some skulls, so I took all the leftover peroxide, threw that in the barrel, and I put a little more super clean in there just to do its thing. And then I am going to pick it up at day five, which is, well, right now. All right, two days later, I'm going to pull it out of the barrel. There's definitely much less stink because that hide is gone. And I did give it a rinse and rinsed out, you know, some of the excess bugs and what have you. So I pull it out. I'm going to try and dump my barrel without washing it all over the place like I did in the previous deadhead video. That was awful. I can still taste it. So I'm just going to dump everything out, give it a good rinse, get my whole work environment clean. I'm going to get a big pot of water and peroxide boiling while I power wash this skull. My whole intention here is to get off as much loose stuff as I can. As a rule at Whitebone Creations, you want to spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, make it go away. Let's get to washing. I do the best I can at digging out that auditory bull, those earbuds. You can see them underneath any skull. I like to pull them out, especially on a deadhead, so I can get in there and get all them bugs and bug hauls out of that skull. Let's get right back to washing. So it's clean of all of its meat and junk, but you can see we've got some natural staining where some of that soil got up underneath the hide. I also can't quite figure out how this deadhead has got a bullet hole right in the top of its skull and it comes out the other side, but that's really not my business. Anyway, uh, those are the pieces that I'm going to have to work on the most. So we're going to go right down in that boiling white bone mix and we're going to rotate 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 plan on getting bugs out of everywhere this thing is never going to quit losing bugs every cranial piece and hole and anything in that skull i'm telling you right now has got bugs in it so for like 20 minutes i rotate that skull around one horn side in the other horn side in nose down until everything has hit the boil. Then I add a little super clean and it's gonna create this great big foam. And I'm gonna wash out the top of the grease on the pan and everything laying around in there. It's gonna carry a lot of those bugs out. And then I'm gonna give it one big final rinse and set it in the sun to dry. With that skull in front of a fan for roughly 24 hours, it was good and dry. Everybody knows the next step here is to mop and glow it. Now the stink is all but gone once it was dry. And when you first put that mop and glow on, expect to get a little hint of stink back till it dries. I set it in front of a fan, 10 minutes, it's ready to go. I'm gonna build a permanent bracket for this particular skull, and I notice there's a little bit of an uneven bone structure here. So I'm gonna take the bandsaw and just cut it off even. And then I'm gonna take this little makeshift bracket from Ace Hardware, wherever. It's just like a little plate strap. I'm gonna screw it to the bench, put a small hole in the center, a big hole on one side, and then I'm gonna open up those two holes with a larger bit. 
What I'm doing here is making it so the head of the screw can slide in there and then it will ride up without it pulling off the wall, if you know what I mean. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this bracket right into the skull, and then I'm gonna bend it in place to where it hangs perfectly flat off the back of the wall. Next, these deadhead teeth rattle really bad. They're so loose, so I always put a little glue on the inside to keep it from getting any teeth chatter. Moving forward, I just realized that, man, I love these horn cores. I think they're so neat. On a bison, they're super duper heavy. Like they weigh a lot, they're real dense, and they cleaned up beautifully. So I thought, how fun would it be just to cut them up even, screw them together, leather wrap them, and put them on a panel, kind of like a little old bull crown mount, but made of actual horn core. So I did that real fast just for fun. I didn't like the first go of leather, so I stripped it off, used a different piece, and I think they turned out just wicked, wicked cool. All right, y'all, I want to wrap up the bison deadhead video. It did turn out beautiful. There's a little bit of staining everywhere that you saw it. Um, it's super smooth. The mop and glow gyps makes it nice. All the smell is gone, and I think the customer will be super happy. This is that um, kind of makeshift bracket we put on the back. The teeth I've glued in so they don't rattle anymore, and uh, I just think it's a really nice project. They all put the horns back on when I get it to them and I just I just don't see them screwing those on so I thought how fun would it be just to make something cool out of the horn cores so that's my horn core mustache crown mount I don't know what it is but I think it's just super super cool so thank you like always for watching till next time uh, be good out there